In the Yorkshire Dales, above a town called Hawes, winter has arrived. By the time spring comes, this hillside will be covered in the shoots of new residents. So this is one of the young trees that we've planted here on, on site. Um, and it doesn't look like much now, um, but given enough time, um, this, will, this will kind of grow into a, a fully, fully healthy sapling. Discreetly planted all around are tens of thousands of saplings that will grow into one of England's biggest new native woodlands. In a few years, this entire area will be a patchwork of trees, peat bogs, grassland and heathers. But while that might all sound idyllic, this project isn't about restoring beautiful landscapes. It's about stopping flooding in the valley below. So we're in Snae's home, it's a valley in North Yorkshire. Uh, it's one of the wettest places in England. Um, receives about two metres of rain each year. Uh, a lot of that falls in these really big winter storms that, that we get. And that causes big problems for people living downstream. Um, there's big flood risk. And unfortunately, we know with climate change, those are going to get even more frequent and even more extreme in the future. It takes about two days for heavy rain on the tops to turn into flooding in York. But for the people at the bottom of this hillside, the effect is more immediate. Within a day of heavy rain on the tops, Jill's ice cream shop is usually forced to close. It used to be perhaps once or twice a year, probably sort of March and November. But this year in particular, we've had four floods already. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> That's why there's scientists up in the hills. They're measuring how quickly new woodlands can reduce flooding. So as the surface of the water goes up and down, we'll know that change. The experiments they're starting now will run for 20 years. It's the biggest piece of scientific research ever undertaken on English uplands. Dom and Robin are installing pressure gauges in the streams. It measures the amount of water that is coming off this valley and into the stream, into the river rather, that is then going down and affecting areas further downstream, which will give us an idea of how, um, how that ebbs and flows over the seasons and in years to come how the forest or the trees that are being planted will affect those data readings. Wooden soils let the water more quickly into the soil, so during really heavy rain events that water gets into the soil rather than running off the land and that contributes to reducing that um, peak flood event uh, for downstream communities. So in the grassland here we can see this lovely stag's horn fungus. And it's not just the streams that are getting poked and prodded. When we have a system like this, which is full of beautiful mosses and grasses and sedges, we have a certain kind of diversity. When we bring in trees, there's also going to be different plants, so different sort of types of plants. And that's really important because in the face of things like climate change, when you have a greater diversity, it's possible that you also have more resilience to climate extremes. In September, the government announced £25 million of funding for projects that use nature to increase our resilience to flooding. The experiments happening here on the tops of the Dales should prove that that is money well spent. Mickey Carroll, Sky News.